January 26 marks the 40th anniversary of the Aboriginal Tent Embassy in Canberra. Many activists and supporters from around the country are going over for the event to bring attention to issues the Indigenous community are still facing today. Whenever governments seem to talk about um, issues in, in relation to Aboriginal people, it's always referred to as the problem. It's very, very difficult and getting really worse in 2011 for, to be able to uh, attract any sort of support and funding for, for Aboriginal type programs. In it. We want to tell them that we want change. That sorry, Kevin Rudd sorry business hasn't gone wide enough. He just said sorry and that's it. Nothing happened. We're still being locked up, we're still dying in custody, we're still dying too young. Aboriginal women are now the fastest growing prison population in Australia, so our state maximum security prison is now 50% Aboriginal women, most of whom experience um, sexual assault as children and domestic violence in their life. One of the issues in which Aboriginal people need to be able to you know, pursue is sovereignty and of course our right, rights to land. This land was never conceded in terms of being given over to an invading force. This was taken by means of massacres, genocide and the welfare of people, not only from land but children from their parents and they were institutionalised into missions. We are still refugees in our own land. I look back upon that, that hard life that I've come through. See where my mother, uh, she was taken away from her tribe. Dad had to get, get permission off the chief protector. What a joke. Get permission to marry the one you love. I think it's a really important process for uh, young Aboriginal people to be able to recognise that, you know, this struggle for our human rights and, and our issues dealing with our humanity has been strong and, and, and has been going for such a you know, long period of time. And the very first uh, symbolic of the tent embassy was actually a beach umbrella put into the ground for shade and obviously the issues that were raised was the issue of the Gurindji people's walk off at Wave Rock and also uh, land rights issues in this country along with uh, issues dealing with self-determination and sovereignty. It is very important that that embassy has stood there all these years since 1970 I think it was. A lot of my people, young Aboriginal people locked up in jails, drugs and alcohol are just taking over. Well, let the government give us control of our own. Let us elders, the wise men, direct our people. What we see um, routinely is it's still governments who have power and control over uh, Aboriginal communities, um, that it's largely non-Aboriginal bureaucrats, and that decisions are imposed. We are sober-minded. We keep an open mind. We see all this. We see the alcohol abuse, the violence, the drugs the environment, the kids roam on the street. Give us our own self-determination. Let us build our own way so we can take these kids off the streets because there's been a lot of neglect of children, money being spent on drug and gambling and junk food, drugs. Kids get no education. There were no plans to establish a deputy commissioner's role. Commissioner for Children and Young People, Michelle Scott, said her role included advising on how the community and department could better protect children, youth, particularly Aboriginal children. She doesn't understand one thing about Aboriginal people. How can she sit down and talk to an Indigenous person about their culture? We need a strong Aboriginal person in there, woman or male or female, that we, we recommend people start to realise and uh, got the courage, if you like, to confront the truth of how this country's been colonised and what it's meant in terms of the affluency of white Australia's so-called milk and honey and what that has been achieved on in terms of the blood loss of our great peoples. And of course, in some cases where that land can't be given back, have a proper compensationary process where all of the natural resources that are capitalised on and taken from the land that um, Aboriginal people get a you know, a proper shared in wealth of that. No, we're not talking about giving back all the land that, you know, cities and where things have been built on, but at least the ownership and the recognition of prior ownership to this, to this country. 
I can forgive but never forget. We never had diaries, but we all kept it here. Hopefully the 40th year anniversary of the Aboriginal Tent Embassy will bring much needed attention and even change to the issues Indigenous people are facing today. I'm Janae Tomlinson reporting for Undercurrents.